It has become a depressingly familiar ritual. President Obama on Thursday returned to his role as the American people's comforter-in-chief when he led a congregation of political and religious leaders in an interfaith service, a service of healing, they called it, to mark Monday's Boston Marathon bombings. This was happening in a city where investigators are still seeking to establish which individual or individuals were behind the attacks. One of the first speakers, Tom Menino, Boston's long-standing mayor, spoke from a wheelchair. He had been in hospital on Monday with a broken leg and checked himself out to join in coordinating the rescue efforts. The congregation rose to applaud him. The mayor, who has said he will stand down at the next elections, responded in an emotional address by laying out the strength of his feeling for the city. I have never loved it and its people more than I do today. There were also reminders that Boston, which with the surrounding area is home to several of the world's top universities, is increasingly a cosmopolitan city. That was evident from the casualty toll. Several speakers recalled how one of the three who died in the bombings, Lu Lingji, had come from China to study at Boston University. Nasser Wadadi, who spoke on behalf of the American Islamic Congress and is pictured here in a purple smock, recalled how just last week he had taken the oath of allegiance to become an American citizen in Boston. And Yo-Yo Ma, the world-famous cellist, born in France to Chinese parents, paid his own emotional tribute to the dead and injured. But the climax of the service was undoubtedly the address from President Obama. He recalled how many Americans familiar with Boston felt they took a little piece of the city with them when they left. That was true for him, he said. The president studied law as a young man at Harvard in Cambridge, part of Greater Boston. He reflected on how the bombings had shattered a perfect day for the city's annual marathon. Then, picking up on themes from Deval Patrick, Massachusetts governor, the president assured the 176 injured and the city itself that they would learn again not only to stand, but to walk and eventually to run. Robert Wright, Financial Times, Boston. And yes, run again. Of that, I have no doubt. You will run again.